A very special good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome once again to the People's Forum of Industries with Big Stone. This happened a little over an hour ago. It came out in the Loop newspaper that the JUTC, the Jamaican Urban Transit Company, some of its employees is on strike. Now let me go to the Loop newspaper for this one. Several employees of the Jamaican Urban Transit Company, JUTC, staged a protest on Monday following the arrest of one of their own by the police over the weekend. We are on strike. We are not pleased with how police are treating our members, said one JUTC employee, who was a part of a group of protesters gathered at the Portmore Depot. Reports are that a driver of the state-owned company was operating downtown Kingston when he was taken into custody following an incident with a group of policemen. Full details of the incident were not disclosed, but a video of the incident has since been posted on social media showing a group of policemen removing the driver from a bus. Ladies and gentlemen, let's take a look at the video before we get into the loop news for the meat of the matter. Let's take a look. Commuters could be heard raising questions about why the driver was being removed from the bus. Sources from the JUTC said drivers from all depots are currently on strike over the incident. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I've seen the video footage that is floating around. Now, I don't know what happened before, what transpired before with the policemen in the group or the bus driver. But looking at it from a citizen's point of view, do you think this could have been handled a number of ways differently? In other words, the JUTC is a state-owned bus company. That driver can be easily identified. If it's not a situation where a crime such as murder was committed, then I don't think they should manhandle him and remove him as they did in the video. Because he's easily identified. And because he's easily identified, they can ascertain where he works, where he lives, what he looks like, the photographs of him. There's no way any minor incident should warrant the police department dealing with a bus driver in his uniform, representing the state in such a manner. I think we need to use tact and discretion when we're dealing with our citizens. Respect is a two-way street. It goes where it comes from. And I just want to remind a lot of policemen out there who are not doing a great job, it is always once a policeman, twice a civilian. You must go back from whence you came. So this job does not give you a high and clad coat to deal with the citizens the way some of you, and I know it's a very minute few that is actually abusing their power of authority. Respect is a two-way street. If you want respect from a criminal, 
as you perceive him to be. Treat him with respect and you'll see how that criminal will respond. I'm not talking about a shooter because we're not stupid people over here, right? If you're meeting out with force, then you have to use the same amount of force or a little bit more to suppress it. So we're not talking about that. We're talking about minor incidents, incident that can be given a warning, incident that can be given a ticket and does not necessarily amount to you arresting the individual on the spot so ladies and gentlemen let me hear from you uh let me hear from how you see this and um make your comments in the comment section below all right thank you so much for listening and watching and please like my video share it and if you have not yet subscribe to my channel now is the right time to do so